How's it going everyone? Tate here. We got my front brake caliper all patched up and today we are riding at Fox Valley. I want to start this video off by once again giving a huge shout out to Steven Perkins. Steven came through and gave me his old YZ125's front brake caliper and it was a perfect fit. So without him I would not have been able to go riding today. I'll show his YouTube channel up here right now. Go check him out. I'm sure he would really appreciate it. And Steven, once again, thank you very much. So moving to the actual ride here. This first section should look pretty familiar. This is generally where the hair scrambles and GP start. It's right next to the parking lot. So the two times that I've been here, that was the first section of trail that I rode. And now moving on just a little bit, doing a small uphill here. In Fox Valley, I've said this in a previous episode, but there's a lot of hills here. So if you want to get some hill practice, this is definitely the place to go. And then, of course, I have to go back to the Enduro Cross section. Now you'll remember last year, I tried tackling this section when I rode here with Eric. Now I need to get a hold of Eric and see if he is willing to uh, go riding sometime here in the near future. I made a lot of improvement with him riding with me and this is a section where I would not have actually tried tackling by myself but he was able to get me to try it and now of course here I am a year later and still able to go through it for the most part. Now I fell over on that last log, things got a little muddy and I was not necessarily expecting that. So tipped over but I it wasn't a big deal. The bike didn't actually hit the ground. I was able to save it from hitting the ground but um, a tip over nonetheless. Now we're doing some side hilling action here. We'll see in just a few minutes, there's some muddy sections at Fox Valley today. It rained earlier in the week and actually before I went riding today, I woke up and I checked the weather and the weatherman was like, oh, it's gonna rain at Fox Valley at 11 a.m. So the park opens up at around 9 a.m. And I was like, oh crap, I need to get going. So I rushed to Fox Valley and long story short it didn't rain it was sunny and 75 all day so weatherman's always wrong but here this is where things get muddy this downhill you'll remember eric and i went up and down this hill multiple times in a previous episode and it is muddy so i was going down the hill i was practicing standing up and i tapped my rear brake and then lost control and almost got taken out by a tree but uh, came up just short so things are a little muddy on this side of the park but as you saw earlier the side hilling action and uh, towards the top of the hills that's when where things are are a little bit drier today i'm definitely getting my fair share of hill climbs this section should look very familiar. This has been in every Fox Valley off-road race that I've done. Of course, I am just completely lugging up the hill and looking down at my rear brake lever. Don't know why I thought I broke it, but was checking it and of course it's fine, so kept moving on here. And this is another section where I think it was in the hair scramble. Actually, no, th this section was not in the hair scramble. This is just where I'm kind of exploring around. There's a lot of trail here at Fox Valley and I have barely hit a quarter of it. So a lot of exploring still left to do. And of course, Fox Valley is the closest riding park to my current apartment. So we'll definitely get a lot more of this place here in the near future. This section we've gone through before. Eric and I were practicing standing up through this section last year when we rode here. This is a really fun section of trail. It's one of the single track trails that I've found at Fox Valley. 
And it actually can get a little fast uh, once you start getting in the groove here and, and start getting comfortable, but it does get a little tight and also there's some big logs there. The GoPro doesn't actually do the logs much justice, but hopefully a goal for riding for me is going over those logs here towards the middle and the end of the year, getting the courage to try and go over them. Because, of course, I doubted myself going over the enduro cross section here at Fox Valley, and that was not nearly as difficult as I assumed it would be. So, of course, those logs seem difficult at first, but after you get through them that first time, then they'll be easier every other time. And you'll see the trail started out pretty dry, but as we moved along, things got more and more wet. So, yeah, this side of the park that we're on right here is definitely more on the wet side. Now, this section is usually the next section of trail in the races where we cross this stream here or this creek and then we go up the hill so getting some practice here on locations or sections of trail that actually are present in the races and then to wrap this video up going through the enduro cross section one more time and then trying to pick up the speed just a little bit from the last time hopefully i can start getting some air and jumping maybe these tire sections towards the end of the year as well and picking up a lot of speed so that'll do it for this episode thanks for watching i really appreciate it make sure to like leave a comment with any feedback you may have also subscribe for more videos like this now I do want to say we're getting to a point where things are starting to open back up and with that now we can start expecting me to upload videos weekly so I upload videos at, on Thursdays at 5 p.m. so make sure to stop by this channel and keep on a lookout for new videos uh, we should be at a point now where weekly uploads will be a thing but thanks for watching and i will see you on the next episode